Hi everybody. So I wanted to come on here and provide you with an update. I am again in my bathroom. <laughs> so um, yeah, so I last left off when I was doing some of week 11. So we'll go ahead and do um, the rest of week 11, week 12, and week 13. Today I am 14 weeks. Um, I am in my first day of my second trimester. So I'm super excited and so happy we've made it thus far so far. Um, you know, keep praying that things progress and um, she keeps growing and developing as she should and uh, things are going really well. So we're super excited, super blessed. Um, yeah, so what has happened to symptoms and how things are going and progressing? Um, so from week 11 to week 12, uh, most of my symptoms were still the same, you know, still the nausea, um, pretty much all day, off and on all day. And then, um, the frequent urination per, you know, continued. And I still have that, even though they said once you get into your second trimester that, um, baby should be moving up out of your pelvis, which she has to a point, but she still really likes to remain low and, um, you know, always on my bladder. I can't feel any kicks or flutters or anything like that, but I do get what feels like a stiffening of my muscles and I can kind of like push on it and I can tell that there's, you know, a foreign object or something that I'm not used to having there because I am a rather thin person. Um, so any type of, um, bloating or, um, anything that's irregular in my body, I can usually, you know, pick up. Um, so that's why I'm feeling those feelings. Uh, yeah, so um, after week 11, as I said, moving into week 12, um, nothing really has changed. Um, breast tenderness is still going on. They're still um, fuller. I haven't increased any um, cup sizes or anything like that, but they are noticeably bigger. Uh, with the frequent urination, I'm, um, you know, obviously going throughout the day quite a lot, but what's really bothersome is at nighttime. I'm waking up every two to three hours having to relieve myself. Um, you know, and there's nights when I'm not using or not drinking anything or consuming anything, um, you know, within several hours before I turn in. So that's rather frustrating. I'm not getting very good sleep, <coughs> excuse me, due to it. Um, but... Other than that, um, as I said, nothing really has changed. I have gotten sick a couple of times, um, and my doctor actor actually prescribed me diclegis, and uh, that seems to work pretty well when I'm starting to feel nauseous or, you know, I just start to feel a little queasy. I'm allowed to take um, one of those in the morning, one of them in the afternoon, and then two in the evening so I can sleep. I haven't tried taking them in the evening. It mostly gets me um, kind of midday, so I'm really only taking one a day. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but aside from that, um, I also have developed, um, let me backtrack. So before I got pregnant, I had really bad migraines or headaches that I would get, and I would have to take a prescription called Imitrex for it. I get what's called tunnel vision or blurred vision where I can't see out of my peripheral. Uh, there's times when I can like hold my hand up and I can't see part of my hand. So it's really scary when I get them, uh, but they were few and far between. Since being pregnant, I'm now allowed to take the Imitrex to try and help use it as a preventative or, um, you know, some type of cautionary <laughs> or I'm able to take it, you know, as needed. Whereas now that I'm pregnant, I'm not able to take it because it's one of those categories of medications that aren't safe to use during pregnancy. So I've been prescribed another uh, medication, I think it's called Fioracet, that I can take. Um, because when it's alongside the headaches, I also get, with the blurred vision, I get dizziness. And I almost passed out a couple of times. So that was really scary too, and I don't want things to progress to get to that point. I was able to, you know, get to a point where I could, you know, um, kind of like sit down and put my head between my legs and, you know, cause or calm my 
body down and um, not be so dizzy and, you know, not feel so well. Uh, but I haven't had a chance to use that prescription. Um, I was given the prescription after the fact of my first episode. And I just, I'm hoping that it doesn't come back, but I have it if I need it. So that's good to know. Other than that, no other medications I'm taking as far as symptoms moving in. Uh, as I said, you know, mostly just the headaches are getting worse. I'm still dealing with the frequent urination when coming into week 13 and, you know, the rest of week 13 and week 12 even, I was, you know, I'm still suffering, obviously. Uh, anything new that I can think of, I have been having kind of a fluctuating appetite within the past couple of weeks. Some days I'll be really, really hungry when I first wake up and other days I'm just not hungry at all, but I still kind of force myself to eat so that, um, you know, obviously I'm still obtaining the nutrients and the baby is being provided with the nutrients as well. I don't want to have her just rely on the prenatals, you know, because she does need other um, supplemented intake as well from myself. But yeah, so I'm trying to think of anything else that I'm missing or forgetting. Oh, so I had my last appointment was at 13 weeks, which was last Wednesday. Um, with my doctor on the 19th, uh, it was just a belly check. So what they do for a belly check is they just use a Doppler, which the one that I have is so much better and so much nicer than the one that my doctor used. It looked like a dinosaur technology. It was very old. And I think that I, I can find a stronger sound or I, my system has a stronger sound than the one that they have because theirs was very faint and kind of muffled and it was, you know, kind of hard to hear, but it was pretty amazing. And then he was able to show me where my uterus is now. So it's just a little bit below my belly button. Um, if you take like your index finger and your ring finger and kind of like rub it downwards towards your pubic bone, like from, you would start at your belly button and rub kind of like push downwards towards your pubic bone. When you feel what feels like ridges or a rough edge, that's the start of your uterus. So mine is now just a, you know, maybe an inch or an inch and a half below my belly button, which I'm sure since then it's moved up a little bit. But that was really interesting. So I found that really cool. And um, hopefully, you know, you guys can, you know, find yours too or ask your doctor and, you know, maybe they can demonstrate for you too so that you can point it out and have the same aha moment as I did. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I don't, I can't really think of anything else. My next appointment isn't until I'm almost 19 weeks, which is the anatomy scan. That'll be November 28th. So just after the Thanksgiving holiday. So that's really exciting. And uh, my husband and I can't wait to see, you know, how things have progressed because we haven't seen her since she was uh, nine weeks and two days. So um, I'm sure things, you know, have obviously progressed and she's gotten a heck of a lot bigger and um, it's just going to be so exciting to be able to, you know, see her again since we haven't seen her. We've just heard her. So yeah, um, that's all I have to share for today. So that will bring me current up to 14 weeks today. If you guys have any comments or questions um, or anything like that or any feedback, then go ahead and type them in the comments below. And then as always, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, but yeah, I wish everyone the best of luck in their journeys and, you know, I'll continue prayers for all of you. Um, please continue them for us as well as we continue and move forward. Um, and if you're just, um, just now starting out with your journeys, you know, I wish you the best of luck and this is a really rewarding and awesome journey to be on. So I hope you guys all get to experience this as well. But yeah, so I hope you all have a blessed day and thanks for watching. Bye.